Hey, hi everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you a free AI coding setup. And after watching this video, you will be able to use all of the premium models for free. Here on the screen, you see there are some premium models like GPT 3.5 Turbo, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, and GPT 4O. All of these models you will get access for free. So stay with me till the end and follow the step by step procedure. So for this setup, we will use this VS Code extension Rookline. Previously, also I made a video on this Rookline. Rookline is actually made from the client and there are some extra features that they have added in this rook line so if i show you the extra features that is this code architect and ask option so for this just go to your vs code and just go to your uh, extensions marketplace and there search for this rook line this is the icon install this extension on the left hand side you will see this uh, rook line option this is the icon okay now here you will see this type of interface and here you see uh, follow my cursor in the bottom you will find a drop down and three option is there code architect and ask so if you select code then you will be able to generate the code if you select this architect then you will be able to generate the architecture of your application and if you select select ask then you will be able to do some simple chat that that we generally do in case of deep seek or this gpt borrow okay simple chat now we'll do all of these things because all of these things are required to generate application so first of all uh, just follow my cursor and go to the settings of group client so click on the settings and after that here under this configuration profile select this default and here under this api provider select vs code lm api okay select vs code lm api why vs code lm api so let me show you that uh, client means the root client has introduced a new feature it is the experimental support for this vs code language model including copilot so they have added in their latest 3.1.2 version okay so you will be able to use this github copilot model uh, means all of these premium models like copilot gpt4 o and this 3.5 sonnet and this gpt4 turbo for free okay now the another thing is that when you will select any of the model from this list then you will get this type of uh this pop-up let me show you this so this type of pop-up you may see and just allow this pop-up okay and if you don't have any account in your github just make sure you make a account in your github okay so after that click on this allow and it will be selected suppose uh, let me select this gpt4o you can select any of these things but i generally use this gpt4o okay now after that here you see that they have written note this is a very experimental integration and may not work as expected please record any issues to the root line github repository so suppose you have selected this cloud 3.5 sonnet and uh, after that you ask you have asked a prompt uh, to generate an app but that didn't work okay so in that case come to the settings and change your model to gpt4 o or gpt4 uh, gpt 3.5 turbo so select any of the model because all of this model that is listed here has a same performance okay maybe cloud is better but gpt4 turbo and gpt4 o has a good uh, capability to generate the code also okay so now select uh, this done okay so now here i will select uh, this architecture remember i have discussed these three drop down um, so i will select this architect now i will uh, ask for a simple application like uh, hi i want to build a habit tracker app okay so now click on this uh, enter okay now you will see that it will give you the architecture so remember one thing to build an application you need a proper architecture otherwise you will not um, be able to generate a good app okay so here you see that it has given me the outline architecture like what are the requirements that you need uh, like user authentication and this CRUD api uh, create read update delete and this um, view api okay all of these things you have to do 
and uh, front end react back end node.js and database mongodb and authentication jwt you can use other architecture also like angular or java if you want okay in that case you have to mention that i want this architecture okay now here you see that project structure front end back end database and this front end components that is also they have mentioned back end api um, what you have to uh, make okay database schema what is required all of these things it has uh, mentioned and here you see that they have also mentioned i have outlined a high level implementation plan for building a habit tracker app so i now i have the architecture to build this app now i will apply this architecture to generate the code so after that just change this drop down from architect to code I hope you got the point that what I am doing step by step process that's why I told you that follow my uh, tutorial till the end you will get the best output from this video okay now uh, now just write that write the code okay write the code for front end okay write the code for front end now press enter now you will see that it will do the right code for the front end so it is mentioning that uh, initialize the react project we know that npx create react app this is the command now it is asking me to run the command npx create react app front end so if i click on this run command it will do the all the things it will create a repository uh, means a folder and inside that it will make the files which files here you see that it has mentioned app.js all.js so that means you will get access to this um, all of the premium models for free and um, in case of cursor you see that you have to pay the 20 dollar in case of wine sword you have to pay the 15 dollar okay but here you will get all of the things for free now there is a catch remember one thing if i show you as we are using this github copilot models okay so here in this free account uh, you have these 50 chat requests per month this is a limitation only limitation uh, but um, if you want to use the unlimited access in that case you have to pay this $10 USD that is also good because in case of cursor they have $20 plan and in case of winesart they have $15 plan but here in this case you have to give only the $10 and uh, so you will get also access to all of the models like uh, this clot and this uh, if I show you again so here you see that one two three four five six six model access you will get for free but in case of wine sub there is only limitation for the gpt 40 and cloud 3 on it there is there you will not get access to this gpt 4 turbo and this 40 mini also okay so remember these things so i i think this is the best setup that i have found till now so you can also do this setup and you can use this uh, and tell me in the comment section that how much benefit you got after using this setup okay and if you are getting this channel for the first time don't uh, forget to subscribe this channel and see you in the next video thanks for watching and if you found this, help, this video helpful don't forget to like this video also guys because it, it really motivates me to make this type of videos more for you only and uh, here you see that i have made many videos regarding this ai coding setup and other architecture related things and this uh, tech news and ai news so you can watch the other videos also so see you in the next video thanks for watching